The brotherly love between talk show host Jimmy Kimmel and actor Johnny Depp has always played out in public with kisses right, left, and center. And with the defamation case filed by Depp going on, Kimmel now says Amber, the accused, is one hell of a jealous person. Why would he say that? And does it mean he is siding with Johnny Depp? Let's find out. Back in 2017, Johnny Depp greeted Jimmy Kimmel with a big kiss on the lips while joining his chat show taped in Hollywood. The then 53-year-old actor at first dropped a white handkerchief on the ground as he took the stage and Kimmel bent over and picked it up. Depp then planted a smooch on him. It wasn't the first nor the last and one time when Kimmel hosted Amber Heard, she surprised him with a kiss just to show Depp that whatever he can do, she can do it better. And that, in simple terms, ladies and gentlemen is called jealousy i don't want to make you jealous i mean listen it's you know it's just a friendly yeah, thing started many a war there's nothing going <laughs> in 2014 depp told kimmel it's going to get weird when a real life transcendent scenario arrives in the near future and then decided to get weird before that by lubing his lips up with chapstick and planting a wet one on the late night show host's mouth the kiss came after Kimmel scolded the actor for getting engaged to actress Amber Heard behind his back, following an intimate moment they shared in July the previous year when Depp stopped by the show to promote The Lone Ranger. The last time you were here, we kissed a few times. I felt like we really hit it off. We had a few laughs together. It really seemed like we had some chemistry. And then the next thing I know, you're engaged, Kimmel said. And I got no call, not even a text. It's just, it was rude, is what it was. I feel bad about it, Depp joked. But I also feel like between you and I, it's kind of an anything goes sort of thing. Kimmel got his wish after forcing Depp to watch a clip from Warner Brothers released at the time, Transcendence, and then helped him explain the plot about a guy and a girl who uploads the guy's consciousness into a computer. The two Hollywood giants have always been friends, and it's no strange thing that during this court battle, Kimmel has decided to stand with his friend Depp. Throughout their relationship, Amber always displayed jealous traits. The Aquaman actress had jealousy issues and anxiety around her ex-husband's fame and his interactions with women, the court was told, as the multi-million dollar U.S. trial between the two carried on. Nurse Erin Filotti, who worked with both Amber, 36, and Depp, 58, made a claim in notes presented to the Virginia courtroom detailing Amber's substance abuse. Filotti's pre-recorded questioning by Depp's legal team was shown on the final day of the team presenting evidence. Notes belonging to the nurse, who met the Aquaman actress in 2014 and were made while she was working were shown on screen. The notes say that the actress told the nurse about a prior history of substance abuse, including an addiction to cocaine and liquor, but that she had abstained from cocaine for a couple of years. When they met, Amber reported drinking one to three glasses of red wine each day, the notes read. Client admits to a history of anxiety, eating disorder, attention deficit disorder, bipolar disorder, codependence issues, and occasional insomnia, the notes also say. The notes also spoke about Amber's feelings towards Deb, referencing her feelings of insecurity and jealousy when not with the Pirates of the Caribbean actor. The nurse said this wasn't a constant theme, but did come up at moments when she was treating Amber. In September 2014, Filotti wrote that the Rum Diary performer reported difficulty with jealousy issues and anxiety around her fiancé's fame and ability to interact with female fans. She told the court that she couldn't remember specifics around this, but she does remember it coming up in general. The nurse was also questioned about a visit she made to the actress in 2015. The note said she delivered medication to Amber, who appeared disheveled, weepy, and sad. She had visible bright red blood appearing at the center of her lower lip, the notes say. Amber told the nurse this resulted from an altercation with Depp. Depp has denied all allegations that he has ever assaulted Amber. Records made in May of 2016, after Amber and her friends went to the Coachella Festival, reported the actress telling the nurse she ingested mushrooms and MDMA simultaneously while also consuming alcohol, and states she vomited and was high for at least 24 hours straight. The actress was then reminded that using illicit drugs would not be tolerated by medical staff, and they could cause side effects to a prescribed medication. Client laughed and also reported using illicit drugs on other occasion at home with a high-profile male acquaintance, the notes read. Client reported that her husband was not aware of the male visitor, nor her illicit drug use, the notes also documented that. 
When asked, the nurse said she didn't witness violence from Depp towards Amber or vice versa. Pilati also mentioned that Amber became frustrated during a dinner at a restaurant and that her previous defense mechanisms included impulsive anger and yelling. The nurse wrote that around 1 a.m. after a hack of her phone, Amber was irritable, yelling, and angry, and that she sometimes yelled and appeared agitated. Unfortunately, Amber's jealousy didn't stop at Depp's fans, it extended to his friends as well. The paranoia actress envied the instant connection Johnny Depp had with his friend, actor Paul Bettany, and saw him as a threat to their relationship, Depp testified in his defamation trial. According to the tattooed actor, testifying on his fourth day on the witness stand, his ex-wife acted aggressively if he showed the WandaVision actor too much attention. Ms. Heard despised Mr. Bettany because we had become such such close friends. Depp said, for her, he was a threat and would take me away from her. If Paul Bettany was getting the attention from me, that was a showstopper, he continued. It would cause all kinds of unpleasantries. Depp said he met Bettany on the set of their 2010 movie, The Tourist, and became fast friends. Text messages between them were entered into evidence in the trial and at an earlier one in the UK against a British tabloid that sided with Amber for a case that Depp lost. In the text messages, Depp talked about consuming copious amounts of drugs and alcohol. The two also exchanged messages about drowning and burning Amber. Let's drown her before we burn her. I will F her burnt corpse afterward to make sure she's dead, Depp wrote in one text message. Bettany has said the disclosures of the messages were embarrassing and without context. Lawyers for Depp have argued that they were joking references to Monty Python. Depp testified that the two actors bonded over Monty Python and dry British humor. That was one of the things we connected on, Depp said. Even if it was an unpleasant situation, we would do our best to deal with it with humor as opposed to a constant complaint or whining. But the relationship between Amber and Bettany, Depp testified, was abominable. The long-haired actor recounted an episode where he and Amber were vacationing with Bettany, his wife, actress Jennifer Connelly, and four children on an island. Bettany and Amber were debating an issue, and she became quite rude and mean and talked over Bettany. At some point, Bettany's 18-year-old stepson entered the conversation. Depp said, Ms. Heard demeaned that young man to the point where he burst into tears and walked away. In May 2016, around the time when the couple split up, Amber sent pictures of her face to Filati, their nurse. Concerning the often discussed March 2015 trip to Australia, during which Depp says his finger was severed when Amber threw a vodka bottle at him, Filati said she couldn't remember seeing any injuries to Amber when she returned from Australia. She added that she couldn't recall the actress seeking medical care from her at that point. In a note on March 25, 2015, Filati wrote that Amber was concerned about the ability to trust her fiancé following an argument two days earlier. The nurse told the court she had a generalized memory of there being jealousy and anxiety issues, including mistrust within the relationship. Asked if she recalled Amber thought Depp was cheating on her, Filati said she didn't recall that specifically, just a general sense of jealousy. The court also heard that Filati attended Amber's 30th birthday at the penthouse on April 21st, 2016, where the birthday girl became angry because Depp was late. So far, Amber appears to be losing the case, and the likes of Jimmy Kimmel aren't making it any better for her. Meanwhile, legions of fans have come to Depp's defense after hearing his testimony the past week, with the petition calling for his ex-wife to be axed from the upcoming sequel Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, reaching 3 million signatures. Supporters of the actor are pleading with filmmakers DC and Warner Brothers to ditch the actress from the sequel Aquaman 2, which is due to be released next March. Amber starred as Mira in the original film in 2018 alongside Jason Momoa and Nicole Kidman. Critics believe she should suffer the same fate Depp did when he was dropped by Disney in his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the sixth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean. In the fifth week, Amber is expected to take the stand, and you can be sure more fireworks are coming our way. And to keep you updated, in our upcoming videos, we'll be detailing every single minute that comes up in the courtroom. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of them.